The terror raid events in Scarlet and Violet just keep coming. We've got a brand new event just announced. We're going to cover all the details in today's video as well as some builds to help you out with it. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. The seven star Cinderace event has just ended, but we have just had a brand new announcement for the next terror raid event in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. This coming weekend, starting the 6th of January, we're going to be getting a new pseudo legendary in our copies of Scarlet and Violet. This event will be running from Friday the 6th until Sunday the 8th and will be featuring both Hydreigon and Dragapult in the respected versions of your game. So if you are a Scarlet player, you're going to get primarily Hydreigon in your games and then in Pokemon Violet, you're going to get Dragapult. Of course, you're going to be able to go into other players' games on Online or just through the poker portal to take part in the exclusive raids that you don't have in your game now a little bit like the Salamence and the Tyranitar raids it looks like these ones are going to be set up exactly the same where you're going to get random terror types for both of these Pokemon in four and five star terror raids but you're also going to get dedicated terror raids where these will have specific types from the imagery that we've got here it does appear that Hydreigon is going to have that steel terror type and Dragapult from this image going to have that pure dragon terror type. So these specific terror types tied to these Pokemon will be a little bit more common around your map although you're going to be able to find them with random terror types. So you're going to be able to get these Pokemon in your respected games with any terror type attached to them. And like the Tyranitar and Salamence event which was the kind of the stopgap before we got that second Charizard 7 star raid. The 7 star Cinderace raid will be returning again if you did miss it on the 13th and 15th of January. So if you missed that event or if you went online since that event ended and you don't have those Cinderace Dens anymore and you'd still like to farm those, don't worry, that will be returning on the 13th of January. And of course, we will update you as soon as that does drop. But specifically for the Dragapult and the Hydreigon raids, you're obviously going to need some Pokemon that are going to make it a little bit easier for you to deal with them. Obviously, both being Dragon types, Fairy types are the first thing that you're going to think of when you are going to approach these raids. Now, the majority of these Pokemon are all going to be for soloing these raids on your own if you would like to see a video later in the week going over specific pokemon that are good for this raid event in particular for going solo into it and also for going online with that more supportive role let me know down in the comment section below and i'll make sure to put something up before this event drops but just for today's video, I just want to cover a few Pokemon that will be useful going into these raids. Obviously, if you're going up against the Hydreigon and the Dragapult, they're both going to be weak to primarily fairy type attacks, but that does depend on their terror type as well. So specific Pokemon aren't always going to work. They're always going to be good against their offensive attacks, like the dragon type attacks. Fairy type is immune to that, so always a good option, of course. But these Pokemon are going to have different attacking options, which can cause some issues with some Pokemon that you bring. Azumarill is going to be something that's obvious to bring against these Pokemon. The Shell Bell build, especially against Dragapult, is going to be a good option with that Belly Drum. The Misty Terrain, if you're worried about your partners getting hit by Dragon type attacks, that is something that you can do. It reduces the damage of Dragon type attacks by 50%, but doesn't have any effect on boosting any Fairy type attacks, so don't have that as a misconception. But primarily, you want the huge power, the Adamant Nature, 252 attack, 252 HP and then play rough belly drum are going to be your main options with the shell bell as a way of recovering some hp but if you're going up against the steel a terror type high dragon Azumarill probably not going to be your best option here. You're not going to be hitting it for good damage with that player rough as its terror type is steel. And um, so you're going to want to look for different options against specifically the high dragon with the steel typing. I would highlight something like iron hands here it would be a perfect option for it. You're going to be bulky enough to take the dragon type attacks. You're not going to be affected by the steel type attacks. It does get access to flash cannon. So you have to be aware of that. Dog pulse is going to be resisted because of your fighting type and you're going to be able to hit it for super effective damage with the drain punch so everyone knows about iron hand so far adamant nature 252 hp 252 attack evs uh, this ev spread can be adjusted because you're primarily just going to be relying on the belly drum and then the drain punch to deal with the high dragon in its steel terror type so that is a good option for that specific high dragon 
other high dragon builds of course with different terror types iron hands can deal with so that is always going to be a good option along with that azumarill another build option that i do like for these raids is going to be sylveon of course it will depend on the terror type of these pokemon but primarily going to be able to resist the dark type the dragon type from high dragon the dragon type from Dragapult and Dragapult probably going to be more of a physical build so we have thrown on Reflect here but this moveset just modest nature 252 HP 252 attack hyper voice calm mind fake tears to reduce that special defense damage just to make these solo raids if you're going in with something like Sylveon super easy super quick to be able to do again we've went with the shell bell here just for a line of recovery when you are able to get some big damage off you can also go for something like draining kiss as well on Sylveon which could be an option but just make sure if you are using Sylveon and you have that hyper voice to have that pixelate ability which makes any normal type attacks turn into fairy type attacks. Another option against High Dragon if it is a steel terror type is Volcarona. We've covered this on the channel before but I feel like this one would be a really good one to go in against. The item can be changed if you want. This is a moveset Morning Sun, Quiver Dance, Bug Buzz and Heat Wave. Gonna have a EV spread of max HP, max special attack. Uh, Flame Body is the ability but not really too essential for these raids what you're going to be doing going in solo against the steel terror type high dragon primarily just want to quiver dance up you'll boost your special defense as well as that special attack and then you can just launch off heat waves when you are set up you've got morning sun as well as a means of recovery on there and then the next one is going to be tinkerton because tinkerton obviously that steel and fairy type in going to be very strong against both options here you're going to have to watch out and be careful high dragon does have access to fire type attacks so we don't know what the move sets are going to be yet but you would imagine it might not have that option so if it doesn't tinkerton is going to be a great option here especially against those maybe poison terror type high dragons that uh tinkerton's going to be able to resist with that steel typing and then do big damage you can go for a steel terror type on tinkerton as well course but if you're primarily going up against high dragon we have got the light screen on there and then sword stance to just boost your attacks up play rough and gigaton hammer as the main attacking options with own tempo probably the more reliable um ability on it as well so they're just a few options but like i said i just wanted to give you a few examples that you could take in against these raids in today's video so you've got a little bit of a heads up but if you want a more dedicated video for builds that are going to be good for going in solo against all different varieties of the terror types for high dragon and dragapult and some support options as well please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll put something together as i say before this event drops on friday but that is everything that we want to cover in today's video we've got another terror raid event coming up and they are coming thick and fast so we're going to have this one this friday and then we'll be revisiting the cinderace one the week after and who knows what we'll get after that but thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i will catch you in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye